friend John and I, we are uh, about to embark on what we're kind of calling the Spirit Initiative. We're just going to go to Soul Station and uh, see where God leads from there. Uh, I'm a missionary in, in South Korea, uh, working with North Koreans, North Korean kids. My vision, uh, I believe God has called me to uh, go into North Korea to start a orphanage. I'm a pit pastor in training at Every Nation, uh, serving the international community in our church. Uh, this is the first time I've done anything like this. Um, I'm in uh, John's words, giddy. I'm giddy. <laughs> <laughs> Mission impossible. Mission impossible. I think we need some what? theme music. Dun 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 music. something and you know and so I said yeah let, let's do it and, and you said um, you know should we go one by one and so and I said no let's go big go hard kind of thing <laughs> and uh, so we did uh, right in front of kind of this waiting area uh, you went up you said something you started saying something I started translating and then um, as soon as we said as soon as you know we said Jesus like cockroaches, people just started dispersing. So we I felt that in that moment where people were so turned off, and almost some people almost a look of disgust. Um, felt is this what Jesus experienced? Is this maybe what his heart or his eyes saw when he went into a city or he ministered to people or when he was uh, going, you know, carrying the cross and all the people scorning him? So I think that was when, uh, if there was any point where God was saying, I want to break you of your pride, this, this would have been that moment right then.
we were walking back, we kind of followed this smaller road to where a little bit less people were, and, uh, but there were a lot of older ladies and who were doing like selling fruits and vegetables and things like that. And, uh, and so we, we started walking down that road and uh, we met this one uh, grandma. She was just bright. She's like, hi, you know, in English too. <laughs> and uh, so, uh, you know, we, we were starting to talk with her and, and said, uh, you know, can we, can we pray for you? Are you, are you hurting anywhere? And she's like, oh, no, you can't pray for me because I'm Buddhist. We said, no, no, I mean, that's, that doesn't matter. You know, Jesus still loves you anyway. And so she's like, okay, uh, go ahead, pray for me. We came back from that thinking, you know, it doesn't matter that, you know, we didn't connect her to a church. And of course, in the long run, we hope that she does and all this. But uh, the immediate thing was that she knows now without a doubt that Christ loves her. I mean, She gave us two apples. <laughs> it, was the most, it was the most delicious apple I've ever had. <laughs> yeah, seriously. It actually Whoa. was. It was so sweet. Yeah, so it was so juicy. Oh my gosh. Jubiana and Nansalam de Gomian, but Salam didn't chincha chincha sarang garmang hago in Gogata. Monga chincha de Daligo is there. Salam did eat few hangos and baro, Yorubone salang, but Kunyan, Kyoe, Chorejang, Boligo, Kislame, Nunel, Balabosa, Kidili Garmang Han and Kugos of Ejusa. I was talking with another friend and he said, uh, I believe God meets us in motion. You know? So instead of being like, Lord, where did we go? What should we do? Uh, what do I say? No, take that step. Start moving, start speaking, start going. And God will meet us in that motion. God will meet us in that moment. And that takes incredible faith. But when you do, you're met with incredible results, you know, because yeah. he's an incredible God. Um, cannot stress it enough. Just go. Just go. <laughs>